Yep, so my name is Rachana Pradhan. I'm a healthcare reporter for Politico. Um, and I've been at Politico for about three and a half years now. And uh, the panel this morning was on uh, the right to know and journalists accessing information from uh, health agencies uh, of the US government. Right, so uh, myself and uh, my colleague Dan Diamond wrote um, about how former uh, HHS Secretary Tom Price was using um, private jets for uh, his official government business, which uh, could violate uh, federal travel regulations, uh, in addition to being obviously hugely expensive uh, to the U.S. taxpayer. Uh, so those stories eventually culminated in uh, Secretary Price resigning. Um, and so, and he was the first uh, cabinet official in the Trump administration to uh, leave his job. Yeah, so I guess we stumbled just like any uh, story, you know, a lot of the time stories uh, are generated with uh, tips from sources and that's also how that one started. Um, but of course it took a lot of legwork to take, uh, you know, to go from a tip to being able to publish multiple stories uh, on the subject. So, uh, but, you know, we, we uh, you know, use a lot of different sources of information and uh, whether they were people talking to us uh, to, you know, public records and uh, databases that we were able to access to flesh out uh, the reporting that we did. Well, I would say that from the time that the first tip came in, uh, just given uh, where uh, I was the one who uh, heard it, so, uh, you know, where it was coming from, I thought, okay, this, there's a really good chance that this is very credible information, just given the person who is talking to me about it. Um, but you know, we, over the course of several months, had to report it out, and I guess we really knew we had a story when we actually caught Tom Price returning from one of his trips, uh, and that involves, you know, our uh, maybe famous, infamous uh, airport stakeouts where we actually witnessed him traveling. So that was when we knew we had everything, uh, you know, that we that we needed to be able to publish. You know, transparency is definitely a really big struggle. Uh, it's not something that started with the Trump administration. There's been a steady decline for years and years um, as far as what you can get from the U.S. government by way of information. Um, so uh, honestly, a lot of what we had to figure out how to do was to go around uh, people at HHS and see what we could verify on our own. And surprisingly, you know, maybe to some folks, there are public resources, documents, databases that um, can be really, really useful. Uh, one in particular, I think that uh, maybe was particularly helpful was the federal government has a public uh, database and records of contracts that are awarded, the amounts, and you know which offices are awarding this federal money. And that was really instrumental uh, for our Tom Price reporting because we could actually see the dollar figures on the, the private plane contracts that had been awarded for his trips. So uh, that's just one example, but there are definitely ways to access um, even using social media and, and public records laws to, to help um, kind of shake the trees loose. Well, so um, I've been a healthcare reporter since early 2011, and I think uh, the anywhere where I've worked, uh, I've had the benefit of having colleagues or supervisors who have been really active um, in HCJ, so that's how I got exposed to it. Um, so I would say as far as the benefit that they provide, um, you know, there are lots of healthcare journalists that are experts in so many areas. Obviously, my coverage is is more policy and politics focused, but there are so many ways to get great information on how to access public records, you know, information, what's the best way to do it. Um, if you need a subject matter, matter expert on issues with science and medicine, which I don't really cover that much, but you know, there are lots of resources that it provides. Um, I should also say that we, um, I'm based in Washington and we have a very active uh, DC chapter and they do a lot of great work for us to advocate for greater transparency from uh, agencies like HHS, CMS, the FDA, NIH, etc. So that's really been, um, I think, a benefit for all of us.